guys! Welcome back to Slavic Girls Talking! Today we are going to watch Modest Scout decides who is most attractive. Uh, I'm Ellie and this is Michelle. Hello! <laughs> you ready? Yes, I'm Let's ready. Go. Let's see it. You've got some good features, your facial hair, your big broad shoulders. Listen, is he going to be doing high fashion? No. Is he going to be in a uh, ad when you walk into Home Depot and he's the guy who's loading up the big truck? Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> better than tomorrow. Tell me what you're doing here today. Today, I'm going to determine who's going to be marketable for modeling in the fashion industry. How do you measure someone's attractiveness? I've been scouting models for several decades now. Wow. I'm going to be looking at height first, size second. Not are they good looking. Everybody's good looking in their own way. I'm just here to determine <laughs> That was so not. judgy! <laughs> Everyone is looking good in their own way. That is so terrible. Somebody can make money doing it. How much would you say that differs from how you find people attractive? Night and day. I definitely have my own specific type of what I find attractive. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to work within the fashion and beauty industry. All right, go ahead and bring the, uh, the first person in. Fair Get enough. over there and hit your mark. Give us a spin. Nobody comes out wearing that outfit and isn't trying to show off and make sure that everybody sees her. <laughs> how long did it take you to do that hair? Uh, five minutes. And the makeup? 20. Hmm, have you ever had any? Wow. What? I cannot do this hair for five minutes. This hair for five minutes? Unless you have already hair and just pay them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's uh, maybe it's ready. It's possible, yeah. Yeah. Even I have, by the way, ready hair. I, I have to make it for at least 30 minutes. And if it doesn't work the first one, the just second time. Just straighten hair this long takes at least 30 minutes. Yeah, for the straightening. Okay, so it's yeah. uh, probably fake. Have you ever had any plastic surgery done? Oh, I'm no stranger to Botox eh. either, so... Eh. I didn't... What? Where? I don't know, I didn't think of that. I also didn't think... Maybe the boobs? Uh, I don't know. She will tell us probably right now. But it's totally good. <gasps> maybe it's the nose. Is it looking smaller? Uh, maybe. I think the... They're making the nose is so good these days that um, they're looking like... Absolutely natural. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Have you ever had any plastic surgery done? Yes. Oh, I'm no stranger to Botox either, so great. We love Botox. Would I find you attractive? No. So she has Botox? Uh, maybe. That's what I understand from the comment. Where? <laughs> I don't know. It, oh, looks, yeah. it looks good. Maybe it looks good now, but it will look uh, worse than when she's getting old. And she know. do it again and again and again. Oopsie. Yeah. Attractive. Yes. Well put together, polished, clean, slick, looks like she's in charge. Probably a good solid eight. Yeah, I think you're beautiful. Thank you. Especially when you smile. Eight. You give her eight. I might change that lipstick color to a little bit more of a natural, but other than that, she's golden. Maybe yeah, I can judge it also. This um, pink magenta, it's uh, not my type of <laughs> lipstick. I like more darkness. <laughs> Like black one. <laughs> like it's too much, but the more dark uh, red is, the more I like it. But for me, for example, it's okay because I'm uh, really light and uh, mm -hmm. and the face and the hair and everything. But for dark girl, I don't know, maybe for a party or something like this is okay. For but for every day, yeah, I also it's not okay for daylight. Put. Yeah, but I like her. Yeah, it's okay. She looks really good. Yeah. Howdy. Tell me all about you. I'm 37. I'm single. Currently, I'm a bartender. Bartender? Um, I have like an extensive. For this guy, you said that. Uh, He's working in a call center. <laughs> in a call center. <laughs> so, wow. wow. IT background. Ah. But I have like an uh, extensive IT background. Yes. So, yeah, I was kind of right. Yes, you were kind of close, close enough. But <laughs> bartender doesn't suit this guy. For real. Yes. For if I go to a bar, I will be thinking that uh, he's uh, for sure working as a IT and he's bartending just for fun. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I don't know. It doesn't seem so. Okay. How much do you think you'll give him? Uh, maybe six or five. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Extensive IT background. I like football. I like beer. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's the same one as the Goonies. All of too. these things I probably would have guessed just by <laughs> taking a look at him. I would put him at a five with a little bit of work. He might be able to get some background work. You've got some good features, your facial hair, your big broad shoulders. Listen, is he going to be doing high fashion? No. You have some good features? <laughs> You, but you look can, on the inside. <laughs> you have good features, good shoulders, nice hair. Okay. Facial hair. Yeah. Is he going to be in a uh, ad when you walk into Home Depot and he's the guy who's loading up the big truck? Absolutely. <laughs> Does that make you feel good, bad? How do you feel? At this age now, I'm very comfortable in my own skin and kind of who I am. Typically, people who are very comfortable with themselves do great in the fashion industry because they can go right up and just be themselves. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. How's it going? That's a yes. That works. Have you ever walked on a runway? No. Now's a good time to start. Ready? Go. Excellent. Shoulders back. Yeah, he never... What? This is not true. He looks like a super pro. I think like all the outfits, like everything tight. So and yeah, maybe yeah, I never did it in my life before. <laughs> 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 this is so not true. I think. You think it's made up? Yeah. It I looks mean, a little he looks made super up. pro, or at least he's watch, uh, watching fashion TV like all day long. So maybe because he's uh, the guy, kind of uh, guys who likes to take care of themselves. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like to care, take care of myself also, but I'm not watching fashion TV shows. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he's like, oh, no, I never did it before, like, pre professionally, but every day I'm watching fashion TV and I'm walking in my uh, living room, so... <laughs> you imagine just to put <laughs> fashion TV and to walk in your living room, like, maybe people are doing it, sorry. <laughs> I did that. Okay, let's just do it. <laughs> That's fashion. Have you ever worked in the fashion industry? Nope. Never uh, even tried? Not, not, not really. That height, that size, the muscle tone, broad shoulders, small waist, long legs. Everything is pretty much symmetrical. I wouldn't really <laughs> lose any weight. Yeah, I'd give him a 10. Wow. Absolutely. Somebody would book you him. You get that? Hi there. Hi. How old are you? 26. Our favorite one. Tyler. You do have a great face. Those big, giant brown eyes. I like that you got the scruff going on. I would say if you were going to get into this industry, you would need to grow a little bit taller, <laughs> especially with the hair. It's a little bit. Well, that's impossible. What the hell? <laughs> How can you grow a little bit taller well, to get in the fashion? <laughs> it was obviously, no, you're not fitting in this world. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a nice way to tell somebody that you're not fitting. Okay, if we're watching them like this, I don't know how tall is this guy, so... Maybe, yeah, he's, but he said with the hair. So maybe if he grows a big hair, it will look like he's tall in general. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe circle one or just. So how will I look shorter then? <laughs> I have to cut it. <laughs> like maybe from, the, I know that they're doing this. They can cut your part of the leg and the bone. They put some plastic, not plastic, metal bone. And they, then you're like slightly taller. But this is insane. Please don't do this. It's insane. Yeah. If you were going to get into this industry, you would need to grow a little bit taller, <laughs> especially with the hair. It's a little bit on the severe side. So I would say just because of the height, bookability market factor is going to be at about a four. What about appearance wise? <laughs> appearance wise? With that smile, that energetic laugh, and just the magnetism. Yeah, I'm sure you're a magnet. I'm sure you get some. Single, married? Single. Not for long. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be great. All right. So he like get four for the model industry, but for me he's a nine point five. Yeah, he's a cutie. He is a cutie, really. It's cute. because like uh, the previous guy is yeah, good looking, clean, fashionate type, but not my type, for example. I won't give I won't give him ten. Not sexy type, let's say that. For us, for us, <laughs> for us, yeah, because for us. everyone is sexy. In their own way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said it in the beginning. Uh, yeah. But this one, this I can give him. I can give him more than the previous one. <laughs> A lot well, more. the previous one, in my opinion, gets like, uh, but I mean, sexy level, not like model. Uh, yes, fashion. Uh, yeah, we're not looking at, looking at it uh, so professionally, modelly. We're looking at more like from our eyes. Is he? Yeah, good looking. Mm. And yes, cute. Thank you. It's a cute. Hi. What's your name? I'm Joanna. Have you ever tried to get into this industry? I have not. 
No. In this industry, because of your height, that's <laughs> gonna be the first thing that's gonna take you down. Mm -hmm. uh, but the size is great, measurements look good. You're petite, we, we don't say short. She's fun sized. <laughs> I think if you were going to get into modeling, sure, change up the hair color. Can I see you without the eyeglasses? Excellent. If I was going to rate her based on uh, whether or not she would get booked in this industry, it's going to be on the lower side. Yeah, I'd probably put you at around a four on marketability for getting booked on jobs. Do I think she's a... Really? What? I don't know. <laughs> like... The previous guy was like slightly, slightly smaller than uh, the commenting guy. And she's like 150 maybe. So she's completely not suitable for this uh, field. And um, I think that uh, and you, you, can be, you can be a model if you have a good face, doesn't matter that you're short, but you can be only a photo model. Like if you wanna be a oh. catwalk, you have to be tall for sure. You yeah. cannot be short. But if you have a pretty good face, but you're short, it's okay to be a photo model for um, magazines and for stuff like this, it's okay. Because they're mm -hmm. gonna take pictures only of your uh, face. I know, but I think he's probably too much judgy for her. I think yeah, the, uh, like the- uh, No, for him, for the previous guy. He was pretty judgy. And the ladies are judging more the ladies and the guy is judging more the guy. So maybe yeah. he's going to be more um, softly with the girls mm. for sure. Like yeah. the opposite. Do I think she's adorable and pretty and has a great smile? Yeah. When she smiles, you definitely <laughs> light up the room. You seem like you're the girl that goes, I like green hair. I'm going <laughs> to have it whether you like it or not. Yeah. Excellent. Hi. Hello. She's one of those girls Hello. that when she walks into a room with a big old smile, you automatically will like them. Not sure about the Harajuku hair, but other than that, <laughs> she's got a good little look to her. Thanks. She looks a little like an MFN kind of a yeah. girl, by the way, because of the hair only. Without the styling. I don't think that this is an MFN styling, even slightly. No, no, no. The styling is not. But the, the face and the hair, yeah, it's cool. Go ahead and take off the scarf if you could. And can you remove your glasses? Yes. Pull your hair back so I can see your face shape. <laughs> you did teen modeling when you were younger, I'm sure. I did audition for a commercial and they told me my fingers were too chubby. So they saw me at a oh, mall and I just... That is so bad, like my fingers are too chubby. Like, like imagine no. that you're totally perfect and to tell you that your fingers are fat. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this world is terrible. <sighs> Bought a white shirt and showed up. Okay. Anybody who's ever out there at a mall and somebody jumps out of a bush and says, oh, be mm. in my ad, run real fast. If I had to go on a number of bookability, I'd go with about a six or seven. I Ooh. think there's certainly work out there that you could do. I don't know that it would be in high fashion, but commercial fashion for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. She really is a cutie. And yeah. with this smile, this smile is going to be really, really hard. But I think if she puts on other clothes, like not so much covering and I don't know, big, oversized. Maybe she will be even more, uh, like bump. maybe seven, eight. I don't know. Yeah, she can jump from seven because he, he gave her uh, six, six, seven, something like this, he said. Mm -hmm. She can jump to a uh, eight point, yeah, nine. Been nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. <laughs> if you came into the agency on a scouting day, chances are I would select him. This is a guy that you would see in a Calvin Klein fashion show, walking down the runway and nothing more than just a Speedo. Let's take a look and see how your walk is and then we can determine whether or not maybe runway might be a good thing for you. Can you smile? No. Okay. No. The walking, the walking was totally not showing confidence. It was more like, I don't walking know what I'm that. doing here. <laughs> Yeah, the, the guy is sweetie. I told told tell, tell, tell it in the uh, previous video, but the walking. Yeah, hey, he is. can work on the walking. But of by course. the way, he is right. He's uh, and did you notice this that type of guy? The, the guy didn't even mention his pink uh, pants. Yeah, and, because and the lady from previous video was so judging about his pink pants. I like the pants. I like the pants as well. I like his style at, at, at all, with the hair and with the, how he's looking and with the pants also and yeah. with the jacket and with the shoes. But he cannot walk, so. It's not a problem. This you can learn. Yeah. You can True. learn walking, talking and attitude. Yeah. I'm going to. Hmm? A lot of work to do on him for runway. I mean, listen, if we lost the pajama pants and the extra large jacket on him, <laughs> He could absolutely go out to clients <laughs> with a good haircut. I would probably get No! <laughs> we love 
of the pajama pants. Next video we're making in pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> nine right now. Uh, you easily could work in this industry with the right photographer, the right styling, the right hair and makeup. Again. Yeah, absolutely. Again. Thank you. You got it. Nice meeting you. You too. I'm gonna scout him later. I'm signing him on. You're gonna be an easy one because you're already adorable. High cheekbones, nice good skin, smile for me. Yeah, great teeth. You're definitely curvy in the hips measurement. Okay, can you go ahead and spin around for me? Some people have those curves and they're not quite sure what to do with them. Okay. <laughs> if mm -hmm. I was going to get you into modeling, I would say let's take out the piercing, go for the big curls, keep everything great on the face. I don't mind the scar. I think that uh, nowadays you can be a model with uh, earrings and stuff like this and metal on the face and tattoos and stuff like this because they're searching quite a lot for models with uh yeah with uh different with flesh and with a lot of earrings and with mm -hmm. tattoos yeah yeah I'm, I'm not i'm not sure that they won't take her it's or not, maybe i don't know maybe it's easier for the entering in the industry and uh, after when they know that you have this hole <laughs> It's like yeah, you have. They can use it. You can you can uh, Photoshop it or something like this. I was having a piercing over here mm -hmm. on the eyebrow before this, and if I am taking pictures of something, I just remove it, take the pictures for yeah. two three hours, and after this, I put my earring on again. Mm -hmm. Not an earring, uh, eyebrow ring. Yeah. <laughs> The scar, everything can be taken care of through Photoshop, but oh, yeah, for a number of thing. what's marketable, I'd easily just say five. It's not too high, uh, it's not too low. You would definitely be able to. Uh, what? Five? He just said that everything is okay just for the... For the what? For the nose ring, it's five. Why five? I don't know, she's so cute and she's so, like, nice. Mm -hmm. I love her also. I don't know why. I don't know. Five. It's, it's just like, yeah, you're so good. Low. Yeah, I really like your smile. Mm, perfect. Mm, those curls, you're awesome. Like, I give it five. <laughs> <laughs> the work in the petite market in a certain city. But no piercing. Any final thoughts? Any, anything you'd like to say? Wow. Modeling is always evolving. Modeling is always changing. It's been in this evolving process for about the last 20 to 30 years, and it's finally getting to where it's actually accepting of everybody. All heights, all sizes, all measurements, all looks, all ages as well. Why has that changed? I think uh, the market has realized that women with curves, women with real sizes, they are the majority. They need to be seen and they want to see themselves in those ad campaigns. All right, thank you. And I think that also it's selling better, probably, because uh, if you see someone perfect in the picture and you're like, ah, okay, this is just something that I will never be, so I'm not interested in this. But when you walk and you see on the billboard someone that is like, I don't know, more curvy, like like curly, you. or yeah, like more like normal people, and you're like, oh yeah, look, I can be that exactly like that because I'm curvy, I'm this, that, or whatever. This is absolutely correct. This is uh, why, for example, if uh, the, how do you say it? The, if uh, your clients are going to be, mm -hmm. for example, a woman between 30 and 40, they're gonna take a woman more looking like that. Even she's, if she's a model, they're gonna make her look more between yeah. 30 and 40. So you can recognize yourself yeah. in this uh, model. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right about this. Well, let me look at you. Make me one round over okay, here. Yeah. Ooh, very good, very good, perfect. Everything, everything is perfect. So you give me ten? Five. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, well, I, I've never seen something more beautiful in my life. Five. <laughs> <laughs> But this is a really tough industry. I mean, maybe um, with some random people, it's like easy to judge them and so on. But when you go in the real world of the models and things, I think it's like one of the worst industries um, looking from like relationships and this thing, because I think that the models there is, I don't know, they're so bitchy all the time. <laughs> because we've been working like uh, for a few things as a models and it's like really tough world. Hey. world. And if you're not, it's 50-50 for me. I, I've, I have seen bitchy people and I have seen a lot of uh, people oh, yeah. like us, like, no, hey, what's up, blah, 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 more like. Yeah, but uh, I mean, probably not exactly uh, the big model companies, you know, where they pay a lot of money and where like everyone is trying to get into 
I mean, that level of modeling. I think that is pretty bad and um, it's really hard uh, I don't know, to accept the imperfections and I don't know, just be yourself, even if you're well accepted and they want you because you're curvy or you are, I don't know, with small boobs or because you have big ass or whatever. It's like <laughs> difficult to fit in the perfect world of the models. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this was so from us. See you in the next one. Bye.